Here are some additional Windows 7 tricks that will help you be more productive every single day. Within Windows, we can move very quickly between programs by utilizing the Alt and Tab key at the same time, pressing the Alt and holding it, and then tapping the Tab key brings up a list of all of our open programs, so we can move quickly. But uh, if we want to just jump to a particular program and we have a lot of Windows open, what we can do then is simply click on that program, and that's the program that will, will pop up. An even better way to do this is to look at the, the, the key that's right to the left of the Alt key, the Windows key, it's sometimes called the Windows Start key. Press that and hit the Tab key and we get this three-dimensional view of all of our open folders. This is useful if you have a few things that look similar and you want to find the exact right one. You can click on that to open, to open up that particular tab. Another one of my favorite Windows 7 tricks is to create split screens so that I can work on two documents at once, perhaps moving stuff back and forth between each document. Uh, it's really easy to do. You just grab the header and you take the window and pull it hard to the left like this. And so that creates a 50% screen as you can see, perfect 50% screen. Do the same thing going to the right like this and now you've got a split screen between the two screens. So for example, if I wanted to click and drag a logo over, copy it in, it's very easy to do. So try to use this when you're trying to look at two documents at once. It'll help you work faster. And of course, it's very important to keep a neat work area. And when we get a lot of windows that are open like this, it, it gets a little chaotic. And of course, then it takes our brains a little bit more effort to, to think clearly and to, to work on the things that we need to work on. So one way to clean up your area real fast is just to grab uh, an open window, perhaps the one you do want to work on, and just left click and shake it like this. And you'll notice that just closed up everything else except the desktop. Uh, and so now you have your nice wide open area without a lot of, other, without a lot of clutter. Uh, so let me show that to you again. Just shake it back and forth and everything closes right up. Oh, one final point, and that is that if you are looking for the desktop button in Windows 7, most of you have found it. It's down here on the bottom right-hand corner. This is the button that takes you right back to your desktop. So if you're, in, if you're here and you want to see something on your desktop, just click on that button and it will take you right back to the desktop.